Cell division. Introduction. Cell division is a process by which a parent cell divides into two or more daughter cells. A typical human cell contains 46 chromosomes, two copies of the 22 homologous chromosomes plus two copies of the sex chromosome. When the cell divides, it roughly doubles all of its contents, including organelles and the cytoskeleton, and duplicates each chromosome into two sister chromatids. The cell then splits the large, double cell into two identical daughter cells, each with the same 46 chromosomes as the mother cell. Cell Cycle It is the ordered sequence of events that occur in a cell in the preparation of cell division to produce two daughter cells. The total cell cycle time for a typical rapidly dividing human cell is 24 hours and the most minimum time is 12 hours. The cell cycle can be divided into four phases, G1, GAP1 phase, S, or DNA synthesis phase, G2, GAP2 phase, M, mitosis phase. The cell involves two phases, interphase and mitosis. Interphase further involves the G1 phase, or GAP1, S phase, synthesis, and G2 phase, GAP2, which prepare the cell for division. G0 phase is not a part of interphase. The time taken for S, G2, and M are similar for most cell types. G1 phase lasts several hours to months. S phase lasts for 6 to 8 hours. G2 phase lasts approximately 2 to 5 hours. And M phase for 1 to 2 hours. In contrast, the duration of G1 phase shows a vast variation. In a rapidly dividing phase, G1 phase can be less than 2 hours. In a resting cell, G1 phase can be beyond 100 hours or more. In ovaries, primary oocytes remain in diplotene stage of meiosis from 5th month of intrauterine life until the period before ovulation begins. Let's focus on events which takes place during each phase. G1 phase. This phase lasts for several hours to months and occurs after mitosis. This phase is critical for the synthesis of RNA, proteins, and cell organelles. The synthesis of proteins that are required for mitosis, such as the mitotic spindle, is particularly important during this phase. There is one chromatid present per chromosome. The cell grows during this phase. Nucleotide excision repair takes place. At the end of this phase, there is a G1 checkpoint before entering S phase. G1 checkpoint, or restriction checkpoint, is a cell division checkpoint that restricts entry into the synthesis or S phase. Without growth signals that lift this checkpoint, cells will not divide. After this checkpoint, cells become committed to division. Loss of this checkpoint, for example, from loss of p53 function leads to unregulated cell division. S phase. This phase lasts for approximately 8 hours. During the S phase, the cell replicates its DNA so that, by the end, each chromosome has two copies. The copies are attached to each other by cohesin proteins in a structure called a centromere, and together they are referred to as sister chromatids. Each pair of sister chromatids is considered to be one chromosome because they are just copies of the same genetic material and still attached to one another. This phase of the cell cycle is where histones, the proteins that bind and organize DNA, are duplicated. At this point, the cell has doubled the amount of genetic material. Most mismatch repair takes place during the S phase. Once the S phase is initiated, the cell must be completed. G2 phase. This phase lasts for approximately 2 to 5 hours. During G2, the cell continues to grow and prepares for division by reorganizing its organelles and cytoskeleton. This phase is characterized by further synthesis of proteins required for mitosis. At the end of G2 phase and before entering the mitosis, there is a checkpoint known as G2 checkpoint. G2 checkpoint is a cell division checkpoint that occurs during the G2 phase, which checks for DNA damage and completeness of DNA replication. 
it facilitates the initiation of mitosis through phosphorylation of various proteins, for example, histones, regulates synchronized cell division, mediated by mitosis-promoting factor, that is cyclin B-CDK1 complex. M phase. In the M phase, the DNA condenses to form visible pairs of sister chromatids attached at the centromere that are subsequently separated and moved to opposite poles of the cell. After the M phase, the cell splits into two daughter cells in a process called cytokinesis. Karyotypes are obtained from cells in the M phase. Mitosis is the final step in cellular division prior to the two daughter cells separating from one another and it has four stages. Stage 1. Prophase. Prophase is a stage during which the DNA condenses into 46 pairs of sister chromatids linked together at the center by a centromere. Centromeres keep the sister chromatids together until it is time to separate and ensure that each daughter cell gets the right sister chromatids without any duplicates or loss. Centrosome separation. The centrosome is the point of origin of the mitotic spindle. It consists of two centrioles and a surrounding matrix, from which the microtubules emerge. Prophase is a stage of formation of the mitotic spindle. Stage 2. Metaphase. Metaphase is a stage during which all the sister chromatid pairs align at the center of the cell and prepare for separation. This is a crucial step in which checks are made to make sure that all the chromosomes are attached to the mitotic centromeres in such a way that when they are pulled apart, the sister chromatids are evenly split between the two new cells. Clinical link. Vincristin, a chemotherapy drug, prevents the formation of microtubules that attach to the centromeres in mitosis. M checkpoint. Spindle checkpoint. It is a third checkpoint between metaphase and anaphase in mitosis. This checkpoint ensures correct alignment of the chromosomes and sister chromatids at the equatorial plane before the separation of sister chromatids. Stage 3. Anaphase. In anaphase, the sister chromatids start separating and moving to the opposite poles of the cell. Stage 4. Telophase. In telophase, the cell starts physically dividing into two. It is characterized by decondensation of the chromosomes, disintegration of the mitotic spindle, formation of a new nuclear membrane, cell body's division at the equatorial plane, ribosomal RNA synthesis. Clinical link. Proper functioning of the mitotic spindle is a prerequisite for chromosome transportation. Inhibition with spindle poisons leads to arrest of mitosis and cessation of cell division. Spindle poisons include colchicin as well as vinca alkaloids and taxanes, which inhibits microtubule polymerization and cytokinesis. It is usually marked by formation of a cleft in the cell membrane as the mother cell starts dividing into two daughter cells. Coming to the G-naught phase. It is also known as the resting phase. During the G-naught phase, the cell exits the cell cycle and becomes quiescent until it receives external stimuli in the form of growth factors to start replicating again, at which time it will enter back into the cell cycle at the G1 stage. Growth factors are of different forms including hormones and proximity signals from nearby cells. These ultimately initiate a signaling cascade inside the cell that activates the proteins necessary for initiation of cell division. The amount of time a cell spends in G-naught phase is dependent on the cell type. Mature neurons spend most, if not all, of their lifespan in G-naught phase, while cells that produce the intestinal lining may rarely or never enter G-naught phase.